Today we have Saba and No ID with the song Back in Office. It's crazy because back in the Amina and Keitronada reaction, I was talking about how it's a whole lot of rapper slash producer collaborations and this is a whole nother one that adds to the list. But bro, No ID with Saba sound, sound insane already. I really don't have much to say. I know both of them has amazing work. We about to just get straight to it, man. I don't got much to say. So let's go. Yo, Sebastian, back in office. Slipped out of the back in a flying saucer. Cristela, where we at? Declining offers. Uh -huh. I hear niggas rapping, can make salsa. Tomato, tomato, it's all sauceless. Yeah. <laughs> this feel like Drano to y'all faucets. Uh -huh. so feel like Drano to y'all faucets? Cause you know the Drano is when your uh, faucet is clogged up or your drain is clogged up and shit. In context, what is that supposed to mean? I'm the Drano to y'all faucets. Clear, he clearing y'all up, I guess. <laughs> Superhero, this my Negro sauceless flow. They hit my shit and then adopt it like a foster home. My granny working hard, the main person I call upon. Uh -huh. Gold chain hang for my collarbone. Yeah. I was the same guy in her college dorm. And I ain't never had a college dorm. Body like a yeah. bottle with a skin tone terracotta. I was the same guy in her college dorm. And I ain't never have a college dorm. I mean, you you know what you know what time he was on, bro. When you're not living in a college dorm and you inside of a college dorm, you already know what time it is, bro. Simple. Body like a bottle when a skin tone terracotta. Uh -huh. I'm from Chicago, we invented monsters. Yeah. Some call me Saba, others call me Saba. As long as it's love, it's not a problem. Hot potato oil, I can fry the game of oil. They like, fuck is y'all cooking crack? Got niggas yeah. asking, is it jazz or is it rap? Yeah. I'm a bit imaginative, I'm where the ribbon at. In the sky, I can write like Jack. I'm a bit imaginative, I'm where the ribbon at. I'm a bit imaginative, I'm where the ribbon at. Yeah. In the sky, I can write like Jack Kerouac. I can say anything. Hold on, let me search that up. Jack Carroll. Okay, Kerouac came up. I guess he's a, a author. But he traveled around the world and stuff, so it could mean fly on a plane. He was also experimenting with drugs, so that could mean like he's high. I'm not sure which one. Comment down below if you know, you feel me? I mean, nobody know but Saba, but comment down below what he meant by that. Even have to match. When it comes to rap peers, I don't even have a match. Like a smoker looking for a light, packed in jacket flaps. Raised yeah. by the old school. He said, when it comes to rap peers, I don't have a match. Like a, like a smoker looking for a light. Patting down their jacket flaps. <laughs> yo, I hate them niggas that always walk up to you like, yo, you got a lighter, bro? You got a lighter? I'm like, nigga, no. Fuck. I mean, like, I can't say do I look like I smoke. Or like the niggas that come to me asking for a cigarette and shit. Hey, you got a cigarette on you? I'm like, bro, do it look like I smoke fucking cigs? <laughs> uh, I hear niggas rapping, can they? This is for the amateurs. This is where the master rap. Some of them not amateurs, but next to me, they sound like that. My uh, city like got them, but no, I am not big. Talk your shit, Saba. Talk your shit. This is for the amateurs. This is what the master rap. Some of them not amateurs, but next to me, they sound like that. That mean he way, he head over heels better than you, bro. If you sound like an amateur, sounding like a newbie. You're a noob? It's like, nah. That's just like, for example, people love Sam. Jordan had bad competition. Oh, they say Michael Jordan play against plumbers and shit. That mean that he was so much better than the ordinary basketball players that he made them other niggas look like plumbers. I don't know why that's an argument against Michael Jordan, bro. He was just that better than everybody else. That's how I see it. Don't don't try to downplay Jordan, man. That's all I gotta say. That's how it is for Saba, bro. Like, I'm a professional writer. Y'all niggas is elementary to me. Turn your head into a fraction, yeah, they will take half of that. I am the master. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Cause that shit, that shit was hard, but it just came up so fast. I even get to see what like elevated to that part. Amateurs, but next to me, they sound like that. My city like got them, but no, I am not been after that. Yeah. Turn your head into a fraction, yeah, they will take half, half of that. Damn. I am not a stacking up the brand now. I need everything I haven't had. Milli after milli, they gon' hit me like I'm Bangladesh. Cold pads on his beat. Come on, come on. <laughs> milli after milli, y'all gonna hit me like I'm Bangladesh? Come on, Bangladesh, y'all already know. The Millie, the classic rap song by Lil Wayne, produced by Bangladesh. A milli, a milli, a milli. Oh yeah, milli after milli, because the beat literally is him just saying a milli, a milli repeatedly. I ain't even catch on to that, I just heard milli and Bangladesh. Millie after milli, they gon' hit me like I'm Bangladesh. Yeah. Cold pads on his beat back in 2009. 
2009 coil up here, it makes sense. And it also makes sense because this beat does seem a little outdated. It's still a solid beat. I feel like No ID could have produced a lot of better beats. Like the ones on the ones on 444, like that whole album. The whole songs got better production than this, in my opinion. But this is just one song, you feel me? Who knows what else they got in the vault? They probably I know they got some heat in the vault. I was but a young lad, waiting to have my time. Knew that one day my story be celebrated. I guess I'm still waiting. So fuck it, I'ma take it. Yeah. Not myself enough, I can Come dance on. through the stunts. Acting uh, like a ruler, but could never measure up. Yeah. Uh, Science say keep out the dogs on the hunt. Label shall reach out, that's every other month. Yeah. Young Sebastian back in office. Uh, it's the dot of the back in a flying sauce. I hear niggas rap tell them take caution. Come on. One thing I have to say is Saba sounded real and real hungry on this song. Pertaining to his rapping ability, I feel like I feel like he he raps at a higher level on other tracks, but I feel like he just coming at niggas. Like I I don't think I can recall a song where I felt the same vibe from Saba. He's usually like a conscious rapper, I could say. But now it seems like he coming for niggas nuts. Sound like he ready for all the smoke with any of these rappers, man. He sound like he ready. He's prepared to end careers. That's what it sounds like for me. It's not the most lyrical or groundbreaking lyrics in this song he did have a few bars here and there but I feel like this this song is kind of like a warning he's basically telling y'all how it's gonna be from here on out type shit I'm gonna give y'all some examples to what I'm saying like saying shit like when it comes to rap periods I don't even have a match some of them not amateurs but next to me they sound like that I was a young lad waiting to have my time Skip a line three, he say, I guess I'm still waiting, so fuck it, I'ma take it. Meaning like he waiting for he was waiting for his time to shine for so long, but he about to take his time. He about to create the opportunity. Or another way to look at it is like, you know, uh every era of rap has specific rappers that's on the throne. For example, in the 2010s, you had J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick that everybody everybody was talking about them three and everybody knew they was at the top. Saba is saying, no, I'm about to take that shit. Like, I'm about to take it away from y'all. This is gonna be my shit at the end of the day. See, he said, I hear niggas rap. Tell them take caution. Like, this is just a warning, bro. I don't even gotta kill y'all with the most quadruple entendres and shit like that. That that may come later on. He's just giving y'all a warning for right now that I'm not about to play no games. So with that being said, I'm excited to see what Saab is gonna do with this next body of work that he's gonna create. This is a track that's on the album, so. Yeah, that's another collab album with a rapper slash producer duo. If No ID hopped in the same bag that he was in on 444, this is an instant classic, bro. I promise you that. It can't, it's like no space for going wrong. Why do I feel like I say that every time it's a rapper producer duo? Pertaining his his uh, discography so far, he's moving in a great direction. He already has has one of the best best rap albums of the past years with care for me that's like a 10 out of 10 in my eyes like that shit was that shit was perfect production rapping it couldn't even get it really couldn't get any better I remember me and Express did a video we did an album was video to care for me when it was time for us to tell them what we would do to change we couldn't even think of anything the only thing we had was for it to be more songs since it's like a 10 10 track album I believe we really couldn't give you no type of criticism on that shit let me know how y'all feel about back in the office in the comment section down below and tell me what y'all think about this new collab album idea I feel like this shit is about to be dope it's an upcoming rapper with a well known producer thank you for watching this video man I really appreciate it make sure you drop a like comment subscribe turn the post notifications on so you won't miss the act of litness coming from the waviest boss himself Spike Leak your favorite content creator and if not he will be and for all the homies out there make sure you have a wonderful wonderful day. Receive a lot of blessings, money, and positivity for the day tomorrow and forever. Spike League tuning out. See y'all next time. Damn.